Hey guys, I'm back on with another project share. So as I told you guys in my last video, I wanted to switch it up from doing some of the folios. So I kind of had this idea off of different videos and things that I've seen on YouTube here and um, kind of took some ideas that I've seen and kind of made it my own. So basically what I did was I created three envelopes out of paper bags and I made little journals to go inside of them and I think they came out so cute. I hope you guys like them. So I did create three and once I share these with you guys I'll probably move on to something else. Like I mentioned before I get bored pretty easily on working on the same things over and over. I have several things I still need to finish and several other projects I want to do. And not to mention soon I'll be starting my design team project for August. So anyways, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what these look like. So again, I created three different ones. So this is the first one. This is the front. And this is the back. And so there's that one. There's this one. Here's the back. And then this is the third one, and that's the back. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the little... I just made simple journals for the inside. Um, these measure about... Let's see here. The envelope on the outside is about four and a quarter by about seven and a half. So, you know, it's not too big, but it's not too small. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys this one. So again, this is what it looks like when you open it up. I did sew around the whole thing and that's also what keeps it closed and makes the pocket. So it's just made out of the same bags that I use to make my folios with. I really love these bags. I just had a few in my stash. So I've been trying to create with them, you know, make new things and whatnot. So in here, this is the little journal that's going to come with it. And again, they're just, um, you know, smaller. So the journal actually measures uh, about three and three fourths by about six and a quarter. So when you open it up, there is a pocket on that, or this is more of a tuck. Um, there is some ephemera. I mostly left all the ephemera loose so that it can be put wherever you would like it. There's a couple of pieces of these sheets right here that I did glue down, but the rest of them I just kind of um, paper clipped them in so they could be used wherever. So, um, like see here are some ephemera pieces. I didn't want to put them in here again so you can, you know, do it however you would like. This is an envelope. Here's another uh, lined paper. This is an envelope that again, it's just paper clipped in there. Here's some more ephemera. And then there's another one of those lined papers. Here's another envelope. And then some more ephemera. And then th this piece is glued down. And here in the back, you do have some more ephemera pieces just tucked in there. So they're ready to use it however you would like. That's the back, really cute. And again, that just tucks right in there. I just stuck a little paper clip here on the edge just to kind of keep it closed like that because I just thought it was really cute. So that's the first one. Okay, this is the next one. And it looks like that. And then same thing, it's sewed all the way around. And then this one's journal looks like this. So they're all the same, but different. You know, they all have their own little touches and whatnot. So they all measure the same size too. So when you open up this one, there is a pocket here. There's two little pieces of ephemera. And again, these pieces with the lines, the only ones that are glued down, all the rest I left loose. So here's a little envelope. Here's a little tag piece. Here's some more ephemera. Another envelope. There's another glued down piece. Here's some more ephemera. And some more ephemera. So there's lots to play with in here. Here's a little tag. Here's another glued down piece. And then there's some more ephemera right here. And then 
This is a piece of ephemera. This is another um, envelope. And then here's a little tag. And then here in the back, there are these little pieces of ephemera as well. And those just tuck right in the pocket. And that's the back of the journal. Really cute. Just, I love the size of these because they're easily able to go with you on the go because they're, you know, they're not too big. And, you know, the profile is pretty slim, so that's always nice. So that's the second one. And then this is the third one. Aren't they so cute? So again, I just have a little paper clip there to hold it closed or just to make it a little more flat. You don't have to use it, but I just liked it there. So um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Again, it's all sewed around. And this one's journal looks like this. And then you open it up. Here's a tuck spot right here with some ephemera pieces. There's a glued down piece. There's an envelope. There's some ephemera, another glued down piece, an envelope. Again, all the pieces that are paper clipped, you can just put them wherever you would like. Some more ephemera, this one's glued down. There's some more ephemera right here. Some more ephemera. This one's glued down. And then there's that tag. Here's another envelope. And then here on the back, there are some uh, ephemera pieces. And then uh, this is the back. So it's super cute again. And you know, it's nice slim line. I really like that. And that just tucks right in there. That closes. And like I said, I just added a little kind of uh, just a white little paper clip to keep it, um, you know, a little bit more uh, compact. Or, you know you know what I'm trying to say um, you can always put some you know trim or something around it if you want to have it more decorative but um, I went ahead and I kept it like that so these are the three that I have to share with you guys I hope you guys like them um, I will be adding these in the shop if anyone is interested in purchasing one um, the link is always down in my description box so you can just go down there and click on the zip link and that's where you'll find anything that I currently have available. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!